y'all this is dina welcome to my channel y'all i am back this afternoon it is 2 30. i have ran a lot of errands today um yeah i've been so busy um after i finished loading the video this morning from laura's um laura's um swap that she sent me oh my goodness i loved everything so much um, but anyway, I showered, got myself out the door, went to Walmart, you know, Walmart, you know how it is. Um, so anyway, I went to Walmart and I've been buying things for our vacation. You know, you need to get travel size things and things like that, that we can take out the plane. I have to plan all that. Then I went to Michael's and let me show you what I picked up at Michael's. So, um, last weekend, my husband and I, well, this past Monday, my husband and I, we went to Barnes and Noble with our grandsons and y'all, I found a coloring book that I'm going to take on the plane. Um, yes, I'm a kid at heart, but isn't this fun? And I figure maybe it'll keep me busy for a five hour plane ride. So anyway, I do have some markers. Look at this page. Oh my goodness. I love that. It's a Sunday. I love this. I, I don't care if it maybe it was meant more for kids. I love it. Let's see if it's got ages on here. It doesn't say. But I y'all, I just love it. And I just couldn't help myself. I had to grab it. There's a page that's got sushi in here too. Look at donuts. This is going to be, look at that, a taco. <laughs> anyway, I just could not pass this up. I told my husband, I don't care if I'm 59 years old. And this will keep me busy. So I'm going to take a backpack on the plane with me, along with my carry-on. But I want to have a backpack so I can put our travel documents and so forth in there. But I'm also going to put, I'm going to put my color book in there. And so I stopped at Michael's earlier because I wanted to get some more Copic markers. I picked up these two packs. They were buy one, get one half off. So that wasn't too bad because, you know, Copics, they can be pretty, um, they can be pretty expensive. But I first saw this set right here, and these were, I thought that these were just the most prettiest. Those were so beautiful. Now, I do have one Copic marker. I have this pink. That's the only one. Sorry if you can't see that. It's the only one I have. This one is a RV10. That's the number on it. And so I picked this set up because it just gave me some like almost primary colors. This one that says it's, that's an R43. At least I got a red in there and so forth. So I thought that was a good set. And then these, got some green, you know, there's some sushi up here. I got a color. So I got these. So these are the colors I have. I might bring a few of my other other kind of markers just so I have more colors but I wanted to get some Copics I've been wanting to do that for a while so anyway so I grabbed these and y'all I was gonna get some cardstock and I thought you know what nope I'm not shopping for that right now I'm just going to come in here because I came in here for the markers and that's what I came for so got those I can't wait to use those and I love, love, love this color book. It was like in the bargain books at Barnes and Noble. And as you see, it was eight bucks. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> the other day I ordered on Amazon or I saw on Amazon this scoreboard. Y'all, what I love about it is, is that it was in a dark color. It came in black and... I love this because look, you can see the numbers so well. They're in white up against that black. And there is sometimes, like when I use my We Are Memory Keeper scoreboard, I can see these, but sometimes it's hard for me to read these with my old eyes, you know? So when I saw this one, I thought that is a great one. And this one is, it looks like it goes down to maybe eight and a half maybe by six and a half over here and it does have like a little I opened this and looked at it but it does have a little drawer here for a little scoring tool and this is the scoring tool that it came with 
Hopefully you can see that. Um, let me see if I can hold it up against something else. So you can see the tip. See that? So anyway, it just came with a scoring tool and I really like it. I think it's, I, I loved it because of the color and I could see the numbers. The brand is called Alt New. And so anyway, I... I, I thought when I saw that on Amazon, I'm like, you know what? I need this in my craft room and all that. This is a little paper that came with it. So, anyway, got this little scoreboard. Always nice to have a little one. That way, if you're not working on big projects, you've got something small. So, it's always nice to have it. So, I got that. And then, y'all, I was going to go to the other Joann Fabrics. Um, that's a little bit away from my house. And it's in Mesquite. It's not too, too far, but I just thought, you know what? I've already, I went to Walmart. I went to Michael's. Then I went to Kohl's. Had to use some Kohl's cash that was going to expire today. Then I went to JCPenney. Because I had ordered two sweaters on JCPenney.com. And I ordered two, like, black v-neck shirts. I'm a v-neck type of person. I like v-neck shirts. I wear them all the time. Um, but I had ordered two more and when it came, they sent me my two sweaters, which those were not great. And they sent two, um, not even the same brand of t-shirts that I ordered. Um, they, if they sent me um, another brand, and they were suit jackets. So I took them back to JCPenney and said, um, y'all sent me this, JCPenney sent me this. I didn't order this. So anyway, I was able to get what I, what I went there for, return those, all the, all the things. So anyway, from there, I thought, well, you know what? I'm over here. I might as well stop at Joanne's closer to my house. So good news, I did talk to some people inside the store and because I heard a lady say, are y'all going to close down? And the guy that came out, he says they have been told that there are no stores closing. They're only restructuring. Let's hope that's true. But, you know, it didn't look like anything it was like going out of business sale in there for me. Um, so, anyway. Okay, so I did pick up a couple of half yard cuts. I picked up this pink. It's got little flowers. And y'all, this one. I kind of wish I would have got a bigger one of this. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. The good thick fabric. And then when the guy was cutting my fabric, the other lady was cutting this one for someone else. And I'm like, how much is left on there? And I only got a half a yard, but isn't that pretty? I have a project that I'm going keeping in mind for these very subtle prints. Got this yellow flower. That's not a subtle print. Love this blue. And y'all, all these, all these fabrics like this, they were all $4.99 and only got half yard cuts. So as you can see, I paid like $3 or $2.49, $1.50 for my for my pieces of fabric. I buy half yard cuts unless I have a good project in these. I got this brown. I never buy brown, but it's for my project. I think I had, I think I had this one before. I made a little basket out of it, but I thought I need some more of this kind of pastel color. Then I got this white with this kind of like a, they're kind of like aqua polka dots. And these are kind of out of the norm for me. And then I got this gray with white. So you'll see what I'm going to do with those soon. Then I got this one. I like that. I really do. I really like it. It's kind of like um, kind of a grayish blue with the florals on there. I thought it was really pretty. Then, of course, you know I got to get myself some pink. So I found the hot pink one with polka dots. Found another very subtle, um, very subtle plaid. That'll work well. And then two of these, I guess these are like gingham. So kind of out of the norm of what I usually order or pick up. 
Um, but I have something in mind for it. So anyway, and y'all know I got tons of fabric and I just love these. And I just, I think out of all of these, let me see which one is my favorite. Out of all of these, I think, you know, I really like this brown one. I really do. It's not my favorite. I really love this one. But I think out of all of these, this one really, really caught my eye. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway, that is it. That's all I picked up. Got myself some more fabric because I can't help it and so forth. I'm excited that I've invested in some more Copic markers and that way then I can put them in a little zip pouch and take them on the on the airplane with me. Um, so anyway, I'm excited about this. I need to try these out. Uh, but anyway, look at the colors. So pretty, huh? Anyway, that's it, y'all. I hope you guys have had an awesome day. Oh, and after I went to Joanne Fabrics, after all these stores I went to, then I drove over to Garland and I picked up some Filipino food for my husband for dinner. I picked up oh, enough for me too, of course, but he's going to love it. He will love it. So no cooking for me. I am just going to, you know what? I've really, really wanted to sew, but I'm really, really tired. So I might watch a movie. I might just rest my body and just watch a movie because I'm really tired and I'd really like to just lay there. On my husband's day off, he just sits and watches TV literally all day. I think I could do it too. I have ran and did all my errands, bought things that we need for our trip. I hope I am done purchasing. I've got a, I've got a, a Amazon order to, to, to place, but I think I'm almost done. I'm glad, glad. Anyway. That's it, y'all. I hope you guys have had a great day. And, you know, if you're new, I really would appreciate you to give me, um, to consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up for anybody, please. Thumbs up really helps my channel. And, um, you know, I was looking at the stats, and I've said this before. I'm looking at the stats on my channel, and do you know only 46% of people that watch me are subscribed? If the other... 54%, 54, yep, if y'all would subscribe, that would really, really help my channel, so I would, I, I'm asking if you could find it in your heart to hit that subscribe button for me and help me, because I'd really love to grow, when I finally, one day, hit up to 100,000, that's my goal, um, there will be a very good giveaway. Um, but anyway, that's it, y'all. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your kindness. And thank you for just being, um, being here and just being amazing. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.